Obviously, we have to do something with this. I don't know if we obviously have to, but I, I just thought I really want to damage his stuff. No, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll find out if we need to. Should we go to the room first? What are you doing? There? <laughs> I don't know, it's a room. Hey now! You can't go in there! How come? I forgot who you I'm responsible like, for the contents of that cupboard. Cupboard? Oh, I guess it's the cleaning cupboard. Maybe that's what we need. There was no way I could improve on the sculpture with the janitor. What? Working. Why would you want to improve on the sculpture? Let's get some water. It's a really weird oh, thing look, to say. Oh, there's a plug. Oh, oh that's so the plug. Thing. It's just Maybe the out. face of the unaccountably happy domestic had made me unduly suspicious. I mean, I knew it was only my imagination, but the water tasted, well, peculiar. Can you pass oh. repairs the water up? Make it taste better. Yeah. <laughs> Should we unplug his Mr. Shiny? And go into the cupboard. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine caught, spluttered, and died. The music's so loud again, and I put yeah. the volume down on it. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Ah, oh, we can do stuff with his machine. And we can go in the cupboard. What's he yeah, doing? Improve the sculpture. What's he doing? I can't do anything. Do something? No, nope, I guess you have to wait for him to walk all the way around. To... What's the point if we can't do anything? No, you can. Quickly. Let's go in there. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, oh, lab coat. We're oh, a doctor we're now. A doctor now. He's really good at putting on coats. Doctor Stobart, at your service. Okay, yeah, that was cool. So where's the room? I don't know. I think it is like a really confusing know. way of... Should we go back and try and listen turn, to right? that woman? Maybe. I'll just wander around. Oh yeah, we're lost. We're back where we started. It's because we go and ask her again. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was down there, was it? That's where we came from, isn't it? No? We'll probably come out. Oh, oh here, yeah, though. of course. Was it the door on the right? Was it at the front? Oh, yeah. I really wear drinks. <laughs> yeah. We made ice lollies out of water and ice and tea. Yeah, ice so tea. So it's pretty much lollies. ice tea and they don't work very well. Just like flavoured water, so they flavour our lemonade. We're just using them as ice in our lemonades. Ooh, we're back. Tasty. So which way is it then? It's this way to get to the lady. That way? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you talk to him now that you got the coat? On? Probably. What would that achieve? Just be like, look, I'm a doctor. We can brag about it. That guy just standing there with his legs wide apart. <laughs> That's a power stance. It's got a mouth. Excuse me. Oh, she's got to finish her typing. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's one big ponytail. Oh no. We're never going to know where it was. Wait. Have you seen this man here at the clinic? Oh. No, sir. <coughs> and I never forget oh. it. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Uh oh. I think it was, it was either right, right, left, left, or left, left, right, right. It wasn't left because I went left and that was wrong. Because that was left. Yeah, so His go left. right. So it was right, right. Well, which right? Right. That right. But right would really be going that way. But hey, this guy here told us it was just down the end of the corridor. Yeah. That's not the way. Okay. Let's just try all the doors, yeah? Yeah. The other door. <laughs> it's the only other option, isn't it? Yeah. And that. When we didn't try the. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we're there already. What was the point? <laughs> Ah, she's easy, apparently. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hi. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patients are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, oh, cool. thank you, nurse. Well, who's first? Monsieur Croquet in bed two. What's his problem? He's been complaining of loss of consciousness. You'll need this, Doctor. 
What's that? Uh, I guess it's a blood pressure. She gave pressure me a long, thing. narrow metal box, and a stunning smile. She Thanks. looks really stern. Probably thinking about her bum. Her what? Her bum. Oh. Hi, I'm Doctor Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse told me. Why has he got the same consciousness? <sighs> That's right. I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. <laughs> like death, but not so conclusive. I see. How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, <laughs> and then I recover. I might not have been a doctor, but I was formulating a diagnosis all the same. This guy was nuts. I know exactly what you mean. He probably does have like a... Known in the medical field as... Blinking. Is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly natural. But just think. Two seconds every minute. Why? <laughs> That's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. I don't have time to listen to this baloney. Is he saying that out loud? Yeah. What is that? Whoa, that's oh, the that thing she gave pressure. us. Should we use it on him? Should we? Or give him the no, handshake. No. Have you any idea oh, what this yeah. is? Please, take it away before I throw up. We can... I thought about giving him an electric shock, but I just couldn't do that to a sick guy. We might be able to insert that drain tool somewhere. Yeah. Do you know what this piece of equipment is called? No, I don't. Oh, okay, let's just talk about that guy. Which bed is Marque in? How would he know that? <laughs> He's round the corner, in solitary. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but the men who brought him in were wearing masks and rubber gloves. Hey, you're a doctor. He how come drunk. you don't know? Well, doctors don't know everything. Then how come you act like you do? <laughs> oh, Shane, oh. Has Marque had any visitors? Nah, <laughs> neither have I. I was say, That's the, the worst Carl. thing about being in hospital. You feel like the rest of the world has abandoned you. Well, you know how it is. Life goes on. Thanks for those comforting words. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nah, Doctor. Who is it? A cold-blooded killer. One of your colleagues? <laughs> no, he really is a murderer. Oh, I've never seen him before. Really weird conversation well, with this guy. I, did I do the blood pressure luck. thing? Yeah. Thank you just you. asked him what it was. Oh, okay, that's done. Let's go talk to her again. We might be able to get fresh with her. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. What's his problem? He's delirious. He just now came out of theatre. He's recovering from major surgery. I'll have him up and about before you can say, Lazarus, get out of your bed and walk. Oh, do you think we could um, patch Adams it up with the Hello? Anybody home? red nose? Who are you? Patch Adams. My name is yeah, Dr. Stobart, the, uh, and Rob I'm here Robin to steer Williams you down film. the rocky road to recovery. <laughs> Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is Why you stayed in bed British? too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? Very Ill people. You better believe it. Like you? Yeah. Tissue. Thank you. Have you any idea what this is? No, Doctor. I wouldn't even like to guess. He sounds so smart. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? What's wrong with this guy? I'm a doctor. It's He's delirious. Job. He's just come out of major surgery. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common Why well, is there a sweater? statue in the hospital? There's statues everywhere in Paris. Really? Yeah. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor. What's your opinion? It's a very, yes. Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three <laughs> months. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I've no complaints. What? Uh, the woman in reception that... described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job. 
isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. We're in a hospital. See you later. Will you look at patient number one? Doctor? What is it now, nurse? <laughs> number two again. He won't tell me what, what you is want. this? I don't want to be a doctor he said anymore. Only talk to a man. Do I have to? That guy's nuts. Doctor, I'm surprised at you. There's no way to talk about our clients. Okay, okay, I'll see him. But I'm telling you, he's a hypochondriac. If he only wants to speak to a man, do you think he's got man problems? Hello again. He doesn't want to talk. Oh, let's just talk to him about all the stuff we haven't. Do so you know far. what this piece of oh. equipment? No. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? Merlin. No, Do you know what this tool is used for? Eye surgery. That's a dumb thing to say. <laughs> it's not sharp enough. <laughs> He's so Does dumb. this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. What about the matchbook? Are you sure? No, nah, Doctor. <laughs> Do you I'm recognize this red Do you? Yeah, I don't. Do you know what this tool is used for? That's oh, sorry. That's a, That's a dumb, dumb thing, thing to say. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Nah, I haven't. Nah. Do you know what this is? Is it self-raising flat? Nah. No. That was funny. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, Doc. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, we can see what's wrong with him. The graph showed a steady <laughs> decline it right in his like pulse that. rate mm -hmm. and an increase in his blood pressure. It kind of shook me to see this guy's life reduced to a few jagged lines. Can we just try going that way? Do you think way? we can like actually heal these people? Oh, I can speak to her now. I don't know. Do you have any clowns on the ward? Do you have to dress up like a clown? Oh, yes, we do. A professional clown. Ooh. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition <laughs> oh, is due to post-traumatic shock. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. <laughs> Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. So how are we going to get there? Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. Is he the one All in I the lobby? All I know is that Marquet's room Maybe. is strictly out of bounds. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. <laughs> Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. What is this device? <laughs> it's for taking the patient's blood Should pressure. She not question that. Doctor. He doesn't know. <laughs> tissue? Do you recognize this tissue? No, I don't. It looks like a chronic health risk to me. Well, I've been carrying it around for days and I'm okay. My pocket's getting a little soggy. Oh. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. Do you know Merlin of Gruber Electronics? No, I don't. Let's go, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Let's try you, going this way and see what oh, happens. Yeah. That's weird that we were made to speak to them. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Doctor! What oh. is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Didn't we? Yeah, we said we were going to, and he was like, what's the point? Well, where did she come from all of a sudden? Behind the castle. Mm. <laughs> He looks so, like, shifty when he's doing that. Seems fine to me. <laughs> you're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. <laughs> I'll come back later. Well, you're excited. <laughs> His temperature was normal, with little fluctuation either way. What about the guy in bed number one? What's wrong with him? Can you talk to him? 
Hey, we haven't spoken to him, have we? No. The poor guy's temperature had been up and down like a white knuckle ride. No wonder he looked so sick. What's ner- the sleep, nurse doing? He? Keep going back and forth. Oh, we can't speak to him. You can just like stare at him right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me look at him. Is that what that now, is? Okay. I was no doctor, but this guy looked dead to me. That's just creepy. You think he's going to stop us again about his blood pressure? Yeah. Oh, doctor. <laughs> what now? You didn't finish oh, taking Oh, do you think we have to learn how pressure? to take blood pressure or something? To get past there. Probably. That's annoying. Okay, let's try again. Can we skip it? Nope. He looks like he's doing it right to me. Apart from looking shifty. Yeah. You don't have the first idea what you're doing, do you? I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. What, do you want to speak to Dr. Monroe? I don't know who. Should we speak to Ask her? Ask talk to her again. Just be like, oh, can you take that guy's blood pressure? I don't know why we Pardon have to me, do nurse. it. Yeah. Oui, monsieur? No. Do you want this, uh... Device for measuring blood pressure? Yeah, do you want it back? No, thank you. <laughs> thank you, nurse. Okay, so... Au revoir, monsieur. I guess that's all we can do here for now. Yeah. I guess if we went on the ward, she probably would have been like, you're not a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Get lost. Um... Is there I don't know what this is about. This yeah. <coughs> Hello. Oh, hi. No whistling, right? Right. What? Oh, he doesn't have anything to say. Oh. And look, what? That's weird. See you later. Yeah. Take what do you care think now. he'd be able to do the blood? Tell us how to do blood pressure. Yeah. Did we go this way? Yeah, and it was like a few minutes later. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, I was gonna. Uh, I thought that was us. The nerdy guy. He might be able to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go up the other corridor? Yeah. Oh, maybe we can look he up. Might, just might take us to the same Excuse page. Excuse me, sir. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. <laughs> He's so bad at trying to like fit and make yourself useful. Bunny, come here, boy. Why well, he walked through? Benoit, Can I trust you to look after him? Do <laughs> your own babysitting, Grant. <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyhow? I am Felix. Oh, he is Heaven Heaven Man. Man. And may I say what an honor it is <laughs> to so meet you in person, button. sir? <laughs> you are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pastor and Leary. I look on it as a privilege. No. And I see sucking up to him now. To look after your nephew, sir. He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Look what Nurse Grendel gave me, sir. Ah, yes, very good. I'm glad to see you're carrying it with you. Maybe he'll do it for it us. It reassures yeah. the public to see the medical profession using traditional archaic tools. So it's strange we can't bar. ask him about um, what's Bobby. his name. Yeah. Hey, Benoit! <laughs> really awkward silence. Yeah, no need to shout. <laughs> He's only <laughs> right next to him. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, miss. This is my first day here. I like the way I he speaks. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with the nurse. Is that the only reason why Shut he's up, here? Shut up, Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <no. laughs> Don't do the blood pressure. Here, take this pressure gauge. Ooh. Thank you, sir. What do you want me to do with it? Well... Keep it safe until I think of something. I'd be cool if we got to hang out with him for Follow the rest me, of the game. I'm right behind you, sir. 
can be a little servant. Yeah. Well, this is cool. I like having a buddy. Oh, okay. Same thing. Okay, we just got lost up there. Oh, he's... Do you have to get him to follow you again? No, he's probably going to be with us. No, he just went up that corridor. Because we just went to us up it. He's just a bit uh, delayed. Okay. He's a, just a bit stupid. Oh, we're oh, right here cool. already. Where is he? Can you do anything? We're waiting for <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I talked to her again with that guy. Oh, sure automatically. Why? Because there's nothing to talk about. Thank you, nurse. That's weird. Au revoir, monsieur. So, yeah, we need to take his. I like how the conversation is just, thank you, again. nurse. No, nope, I guess just try and walk that way. See and you see. later. Yeah. You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. It's different music, right? Mm -hmm. Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure from So English. Me. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? It's because he's got yep. money. Yep. That's it's how it not works. like oh. that. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. No, just get it over and done with. Don't talk to hey, him. Hey, Benoit. Why is it always with the awkward silence? <laughs> What? What? What's going on? Just walking around like... Yes, sir? <laughs> Are you ready with that pressure gauge? Primed and ready to pump, sir. Mm. What do you want me to do with it? Oh. Ooh. This one. Yep. Use it on Nurse Gretel. <laughs> huh? Oh, she'll enjoy it. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, I hope this doesn't mess everything up. I should have saved. We're going to die. Yeah. I would appreciate it if you take your trouble in the intern's restroom. This is a hospital, <laughs> not a cabaret. Oh, lighten up. I she'll enjoy it. Any more nonsense and I shall report oh, it no. to Dr. Hagenmeyer. She's the one who's always getting frisky on the ward. Is that according to hey, rumours. Can we give it to the middle guy first? Okay. <laughs> Why'd you sound so you sad? Don't? You don't need to. Yeah, but I want to make him feel better. Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Yeah, we just need to stop what blinking. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Use it on Rene Croquet. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. That guy cannot be called Rene Croquet with that accent. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? Doing it properly. How come we're not allowed to see? It's private. What is going on? Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Benoit! <laughs> Show, <Chuck>. Yes, sir? <laughs> do you still have that gauge I gave oh. you? Ah, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Use it on Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll never know how to properly take someone's blood pressure now. Don't need to. Now can we go? It's just turning to look at us each time. <laughs> I guess that's the private room. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, Doctor. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has anthrax. Can you have anthrax? I have to visit my Do patient. you just have it in like what a little for? box? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed is vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. The white coat suits you. Thanks. 
What does this <laughs> tissue suggest to you? It looks as if it has been used to wipe Titan's bottom. I hate to say it, but you could be right. Why is he saying that? He knows <laughs> it's just grease paint. Have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, I have. A gorilla and a weasel? No. This was a tatty old bear. How is the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a Homburg. What's an Homburg? Is that against the law? I don't know. No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. Know. It's an actual bear. Don't you think it's possible that the bear was a man in disguise? Well, obviously, I'm not completely <laughs> stupid. But who would go to the bother of disguising himself as a bear? It's not as if it blend in with the surroundings. I checked with base to see if any bears had been reported missing from this the zoo so or a traveling circus. They told me to sit tight until reinforcements arrive. I guess they're right. I'd be stupid to tackle a bear Was single he talking about a bear? I don't know, it's really weird. Okay. Catch you later, officer. Au revoir, Doc. If you see that bear, kick him in the nuts. 